today I wanted to share with you a, a little advice about how to play short slurs that unite two notes in the right way. So we all know those a bit confusing uh, small slurs that indicate that we need to play a couple of notes on one breath. I bet you even can remember how your teacher showed you to draw a priest on the first note and lift it up on the second one. So hopefully um, this advice like will help you to feel these um, slurs in a more natural and expressive way. So let's take a look at uh, one of the examples from one of the sonatas of Beethoven and simply follow my steps and you will feel the difference. So the first thing is we're going to add one note before every couple of notes this way. And when we sing, we need to sing all, all the notes to the left with glissando and resistance between notes. So it sounds literally like this. Now we're going to add a little bit of phrasing here, so meaning that we're going to bring more intention and kind of emphasize the first interval and release energy uh, on the second interval. So it sounds this way. The next step would be singing absolutely the same way, but without singing out loud that first additional note, meaning we still feel it, but we just don't sing it out loud. Now we are ready to play it, and don't forget that we need to still sing internally just the same way as we sang right now. This is what we get. And of course we, go, we can go further and unite it all in the phrase and in sentence, but it's not about it today. So I just wanted to show you how uh, you can naturally feel these slurs in a more expressive way. And uh, this uh, principle you can apply to any similar um, slurs that you play in your repertoire. And that would be it. I hope that helped and see you in my next video. Bye-bye.